Hey everyone, it's Mari. I'm back again today with another project for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be using this beautiful Harvest Blooms background stamp set, as well as some of the sentiments from the Slimline Sentiments blanket dies. I'm also going to be using the inside cut from the Slimline Sentiment dies here as well. And I'm going to be using a couple of the frames from the Slimline Thin Frames dies as well. I'm also going to be using the beautiful Darling Dahlia stamp set and coordinating dies as well to create some of the details for my card front today. And I'm also here just going to show you the finished card so that you can see what we're going to be uh, getting when we finish the entire process today. This is the card that I'm going to be creating and I just love the color combination and the really easy coloring involved in this card today. I'm going to take you through that entire process. Now I'm going to start off here by showing you how I stamped out this square background die or sorry stamp to create a slimline card. So what I did here was I just cut my um, slimline card front using that slimline sentiments die and that just cuts out that that thin skinny uh, car, uh, frame or uh, sorry uh, panel for the front of my card and here you can just see that I'm going to treat my cardstock here with a little bit of anti-static powder and then I'm going to stamp out the first image portion of that background stamp here onto my cardstock with some this is just some embossing ink here. It's uh, just a clear sticky ink. You won't be able to see anything when I've stamped it onto my cardstock. It's completely clear, but it does leave a watermark on the white cardstock. And in that way, the embossing powder sticks to that sticky ink and, and we can melt it and do some heat embossing uh, for the, the uh, technique that I'm going to be doing here today. So I'm just going to get that all stamped out. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some white embossing powder. I'll spread that all across that embossing ink. You can just see me spooning that out there with my Nouveau spoon. I will leave a link in the description box below, by the way, to all of the different products that I'm using here today to create my card. So just check for that in the show more section down below. Now I'm just going to take my embossing tool, go ahead and melt that. And now I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the image on the rest of that panel here. You can just see I'm using a different embossing tool or a different stamping tool to go ahead and stamp out the rest of that image. And in that way, I've got an image stamped out and embossed on the entire panel. So I did go ahead and add the embossing powder, heated that up, and now I'm adding the Distress Oxide ink. I'm blending that on with my beautiful Hexagon Honeybee Stamps Palm Blender. I'm using some Crackling Campfire here, some Abandoned Coral, and some Dried Marigold to blend on my three colors. And I'm actually taking that Hexagon Blending Tool and I'm just rubbing it on some paper towel off camera so that when I go into the other colors, I'm not contaminating the other colors with the previous color. So you can just see here, I'm going to get just a really pretty, a beautiful kind of corally orange blend with those three different colors. And I just keep going back and forth through those different colors just to get them nicely blended together until I'm happy with this. I am working on some Bristol Smooth cardstock today and that just allows that ink to blend on so nicely and smoothly. Now this is just a piece of dry paper towel. I'm rubbing it over top of my white embossing powder and you can just see how that just takes the color off that white embossing powder and the image just pops. Now I'm going to to stamp out some Dahlia, some Darling Dahlia images here, the one of the larger Dahlias, one of the, the little um, bloom, and a couple of the leaves. And here you can see that I'm going to go ahead and just do some really quick um, ink blending over top of these images. Now I have embossed these with the white embossing ink again. I've heat those up and melted that off camera. And I'm just using that same technique of using the Distress Ink over top of the white heat embossing. And I'm just using a combination here of Evergreen Bow and Crushed Olive for my greens. And again, that Crackling Campfire, the Abandoned Coral and the Dried Marigold for my florals. And I'm using my Honey Bee Stamp blending brushes here to blend on these inks. This is just a really easy way to color your different images and I love using this technique when I want to create 
a card with these really beautiful detailed stamps without having to do all of that intricate coloring. It does really make it, it come together quickly. Now you can see here I've die cut the different bits here with the coordinating dies and now I've put them into my splat box and I'm spritzing them with some sheer shimmer spritz and this is just going to add some really pretty sparkle and shine and with the panel piece I'm actually going to just spritz it with some water with my distress sprayer. I'm going to dab up the excess water and it's just going to add some detail to that distress ink in the background just by adding that little water droplet mark in that way with that distress sprayer. Now I'm going to take my card base here. This is a slimline card base that is three and a half by eight and a half and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to um, finish up adding all of the details by starting off here with a green frame from that slimline thin frames die and so I ran that slimline thin frames die through my die cutting machine with a piece of green cardstock and ended up with a bunch of frames I'm going to use a couple of those I'm going to back my card panel with some three quarter inch foam adhesive to pop that panel up so that I've got the green frame on my card base and I've now added that uh, panel with that foam adhesive. I'm going to add another green base here. You can see another uh, thin uh, frame there just to create a little bit of detail. And now you can just see I'm adding my little die cut pieces here. I'm adding the large dahlia with some foam adhesive and then I'll add that little bud and the two leaves to the side just with a little bit of liquid adhesive. Now I've cut a couple of sentiments from the slim line sentiment blanket dies which uh, are going to be the sentiment sending love. I've just cut those from some white cardstock. I've cut two of each and I'm just layering them up with some liquid adhesive here. You can see they're going to just um, be layered together just to add a little bit of dimension to my card and the sentiment sending love will finish up my card and to completely finish it up I'm going to add some of the autumn afternoon little uh, gems the gem stickers and I am going to have a beautiful slimline card when I'm all finished I have linked up all of the different products from the honeybee shop in the description box below make sure you check that out I'm also uh, going to leave links to the Facebook group and the blog and all the different places you can find honeybee stamps and social media if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you subscribe and leave a comment and let us know what you thought of this project today thank you so much friends have an amazing day i'll see you again bye bye